Candidates demonstrate the knowledge necessary to create, use, assess, and manage theoretical and practical applications of educational technologies and processes. Three artifacts that demonstrate my mastery of Standard 1 are the haiku deck I created in EdTech 501, how to calculate a GPA that I created in EdTech 513, and the shape lesson I created in EdTech 502. In EdTech 501, I created a haiku deck about appropriate behavior in the computer lab. First, I identified some common problems that students were having behaving appropriately in the computer lab. Next, I identified some reasons for this behavior. Then finally, I identified some solutions as well as consequences. This haiku deck was adopted by use in the computer lab for all students and is still being used today. In EdTech 513, I created a worked example YouTube video on how to calculate a student's grade point average. This was made for my special education students. First, I provided some reasons for the importance of being able to have this skill. Second, I worked through an example step-by-step -step of how to calculate a grade point average. And then finally, I provided students with the opportunity to calculate a grade point average independently. Finally, in EdTech 502, I created a shape lesson web page which integrated a variety of technologies. First, students scanned a QR code which contained a common geometric shape. Students were then given 30 minutes to take as many pictures as possible of this shape. The pictures were then transformed into Animoto videos. Students then showed each other the videos, attempting to guess each other's shapes. The diversity of these artifacts demonstrate my mastery of Standard 1. Candidates develop as reflective practitioners able to demonstrate effective implementation of educational technologies and processes based on contemporary content and pedagogy. Three artifacts that reflect my mastery of the standard are, first, the Hopscotch website I developed for EdTech 506, second, the virtual field trip I created for EdTech 502, and finally, the Animal Adventure final game I created for EdTech 536. In EdTech 506, I created a showcase Hopscotch website. Hopscotch is a graphically based computer programming language that's used on iPads. I developed tutorials for four separate programs. These tutorials were all set up to be graphically based so that reading was not a requirement. In addition to creating the tutorials, I also created lesson plans for teachers to follow, as well as examples of finished projects so that students can check for their understanding. Second, in EdTech 502, I created a virtual field trip, America at the Crossroads, the Compromise of 1850. Students learned about the Compromise of 1850 through the, each of the major leaders. Students watched videos about the leaders, as well as read primary source material, and answered questions at the end of each section. Finally, in EdTech 536, I used Game Salad to complete a vocabulary game for my special education students. Welcome to the Great Trek. This game allowed students to develop vocabulary skills in a much more interesting manner. These three artifacts demonstrate my mastery of Standard 2. Candidates facilitate learning by creating, using, evaluating, and managing effective learning environments. The three artifacts that demonstrate my mastery of Standard 3 are 
the online course that I developed for EdTech 512, creating Google Calendar slots for EdTech 513, and the copyright jigsaw I completed for EdTech 502. In EdTech 512, I created a six module course on a journey through time, exploring our musical past. Each unit contained an introduction, as well as three assignments and a checklist to ensure that all students had completed the unit. The course contained gamification to increase student engagement. A few years ago, Google Apps were being rolled out in San Francisco Unified School District. Most teachers had no idea how to use Google Calendar effectively. In EdTech 513, I created a Clarify tutorial that showed step-by-step -step how to create calendar spots in Google Calendar. This Clarify document is still being used today. Copyright law is frequently violated by teachers on an almost daily basis. Most of the time it's not intentionally done. Rather, most teachers don't know the basics of copyright law. In EdTech 502, I created a jigsaw activity that explains the basics of copyright law. Teachers read links from two separate websites for each of the four parts of the scavenger hunt. Then they answered some quiz questions for each unit. At the end of the activity, there is a certificate for teachers to download demonstrating mastery. These artifacts clearly demonstrate my mastery of this standard. Candidates design, develop, and evaluate technology-rich learning environments within a supportive community of practice. The three artifacts that demonstrate my mastery of this standard are, first, the Ancient Chinese Philosophies Unity 3D project that I created for EdTech 511, the Evaluative blog for EdTech 513, and the Web Accessibility webpage for EdTech 502. For several years, I co-taught sixth grade social studies. One of the major units in sixth grade social studies was ancient China. In EdTech 511, we were required to create a unit using Unity 3D. My project was on the three philosophies of ancient China, Taoism, Legalism, and Confucianism. The units were subdivided into sections for ease of management. The leadership exhibited in creating this project really clearly demonstrates my mastery of standard four. My second artifact is the reflective log that I created for EdTech 533. Now all classes at Boise State have a reflective component, but this is the first and only reflective component that was done on video rather than in writing. The reflective log clearly demonstrates in an unusual way my mastery of reflection of practice. My final artifact was a web accessibility web page I created for EdTech 502. In this web page, I defined first of all what is web accessibility, how does your me website measure up, and what you can do. Each part contained three separate links to provide useful information. Addressing web accessibility clearly demonstrates mastery of 4.5. These artifacts clearly demonstrate my mastery of the standard. Candidates explore, evaluate, synthesize, and apply methods of inquiry to enhance learning and improve performance. The three artifacts that demonstrate my mastery of the standard are, first, my final paper for EdTech 504, Constructivism and Educational Technology, second, my final evaluation for EdTech 505, and finally, my annotated bibliography in EdTech 501. My final paper in EdTech 504 
was on constructivism and educational technology. I began by talking about some of the key founders of constructivism, including John Dewey. I then reviewed some of the key components of constructivism. I then defined educational technology and made a connection between constructivism and educational technology. Finally, I provided some tactical examples, including blogging in the classroom. In EdTech 505, I reviewed the Unique Learning System at Francisco Middle School. The Unique Learning System is a special online curriculum designed for special education students. As part of my report, I described the program. Then I provided examples of data that I had collected as well as student and teacher surveys. My report ended with some conclusions. In EdTech 501, I created an annotated bibliography on flipped classrooms. This was the first scholarly research I had completed in 20 years. These artifacts demonstrate my mastery of Standard 5.